your command, Lieutenant. Master said the caravan would be right here. The stand looks like it's been deserted. I'll question the neighboring merchants. Are you looking for merchants? Got some things to buy, Lieutenant? You should have told me. I could have done it for you. We can probably find what you're looking for. Mr. Manser, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Big on weaponry, I hope. What can I get you? I was expecting a caravan in the stall next door to buy a few things. They arrived yesterday, but truth be told, I think they found some trouble. I wasn't there when it happened, but from what I heard, some people were looking to talk. And talking turned to shouting, and after that, they were seen down in the slums, I, I hear. And then they were dragged into some warehouse. Whatever they did, they're in big trouble now. If you're looking to help them, you better find them fast.
I'd advise you to not try anything. Lieutenant, should we maybe get the civilians away from the plaza? It might be safer. Good point. Yeah, let's... Stay back! Keep moving! Screw you! You move! I live here! Listen, take this and get the hell out. Huh, well now that you're asking nice... Citizens, gotta keep moving. Go! We're going, we're going! Hey there, you're the officer who's escorting us? Damn, we got lucky. Our own Technomancer. Name's Nisha. Pleasure, Zachariah Manser. I'll get you where you need to go. Never met a Technomancer before. Must be amazing to have powers like that. I gotta say, I was getting pretty worried Aurora would try to attack us on the road. But with you tagging along? We still need to be careful and stick together. Never know when danger's gonna crop up. Based on the threats we received, I admit I was really anticipating Aurora to strike. Their cunning knows no end, even now. We must get to the instruction. Only then will we see the most. Those Did you read Rick's report about the two new mines found by the Reachers? No, not yet. I'll take a look at it when we're we leaving soon. I'm ready when you are. Hello, officer. I'm Simon Judge. Hello, Mr. Judge. I'm Zachariah Manser, and I've been assigned to escort you. Manser? A Technomancer? I've never had the opportunity to cross paths with your kind. You're a pretty mysterious group of people. I've heard that your abilities could turn out to be dangerous, even for you. Is it true? It's called a surge. Intense excitement and emotions can make us generate more energy than we can usually handle. It creates an overload. If we manage to keep it in check, the effects are minor, and it can be used very effectively in combat. The result is devastating for anything around the Technomancer. Unfortunately, in extreme cases, it can lead to the death of the one who generates it. Fascinating. That's really fascinating. You are really the spearhead of the armies of Mars. Did you hear that, Lieutenant? We gotta get over there! Can't leave these people without an escort, soldier. They're vulnerable to attack. Go on, report back when you can. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. Ah! Ah! 
Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. We leaving soon. I'm ready when you are. Based on... Hello, officer. I'm Simon. Hello? It's cool. If we... Fast. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins.
Stay hidden. I'll deal with the assassins. We gotta go, now! We're following you, officer. Trusting you with our lives. Let's head to the north gate. Then the guards can take you to the residence, or the exchange.
here, are we, officer? Thank you, officer. I hope to see you around soon. I'll be at the source. Lieutenant! Everything go all right? Uh, it's been awful over there. They blew up the protection shutters, so we had to evacuate everyone. Yeah, I know. It wasn't just a diversion. It was a symbol, too. Destroy the roof of a rival city, and they won't forget about it anytime soon. That's true. That's some good thinking, Lieutenant. So, we heading back to the barracks? Sure the captain will be wanting your report as soon as possible. You! Please! Please stop! I need your help! You is one of them technomancers, ain't ya? Heard about you? One of them fancy officers supposed to be our protectors. We do what we can. Then maybe you the man I should ask for help. You see, I got a daughter. Prettiest thing you ever seen, ever seen. So, so sweet and kind and everything a mom would ever want in a baby girl. Kind of daughter makes you just bubble with pride. But she's gone now. Just disappeared. And I know you ain't know her, but I promise she ain't the kind of girl who just leave her mama without no word. It's them Vori done took her. I know it. Took her and forcing her to do heaven knows what. Horrible things I can't imagine. You gotta help. You got to help her, Mr. Manso. I'll do my best. What's her name? 
Seb. Her name is Seb. Thank you so much, sir. I can't say how good it is for you to help a woman like me. Thank you, sir. Thank you for my baby girl and me. Shaking. Must have been those Aurora bastards. Sorry, pal. Nobody enters this office if they got no pass. That right, pal? I'm an officer, and a technomancer, and I'm here to see Anton Rogue. Think you should let me in. You even know who Anton Rogue is? He's the big fucking balls here. The boss. I don't care if you're a damn general. Get the hell out of here. I'm clearly just gonna have to show myself in. Come on, guys, let's get him! Look what the cat dragged in. A prodigal son. A diamond in the rough risen from poor street trash to the godlike ranks of Technomancer. Now tell me, why am I so lucky to be in your presence? I'm looking for a prostitute named Sarah. Hmm. And you wouldn't be the only one. 
She was quite the popular menu item for the boys at the barracks, until she disappeared, like a puff of once lucrative smoke. You catch wind of her, you'll let me know. I'd be much obliged. Wish I could give you a bearing, but the truth of the matter is, the doll simply disappeared, along with a potential prophet I'm not happy to have seen go with her, but would pay to see returned, with or without some added bruising as a lesson in running off. I gotta go. Then go. Doors locked from the other side. Guess we're going around. I'd advise you to not try anything. anymore. I don't even have enough to feed my kids. My job beats a damn boy more than my own family. Keep your mouth shut. You wouldn't be the first to moan and end up sleeping under the sun the next day. Well, I know, but how am I going to survive? Sell your diner and work for someone else. If you want to play it safe, live another day. girl yet? Popular young girl you got there. For it is the mob's looking for her too, but she slipped away. Maybe one of her regular clients could help. Oh, well let me think. There was one fella was deep into my Sarah, if you catch my drift. Spent all his serum, time, attention on my baby girl. John. John Labor, I believe. Fella from the slums, but if you're gonna find him there, you have to go at day's end. During daylight, the boy works round them military warehouses with the rovers. You John Labor? That depends. What's this about? You all right? Look a little worse for wear. Oh yeah, never better. What do you want? A young woman worked around here. Her name was Sarah. Your girl's gotten popular. A lot of people looking for her these days. What's it to you? Just a guy trying to help her out. What do you say? She just... Uh... She just wanted a chance at life is all, so she headed to the exchange to start it. it. May still be there. Leave me alone now. I don't need no more trouble.
hell are you doing here, huh? What do you want? Nothing from you. I'm here for... The gal? Great. Sorry she's ours. You even come back later after we're done with her. You can get the hell out now and never come back! Or do you need me to help you out permanently? Shut your fucking mouth, bitch! Fuck, your lucky damaged goods are worth less, or I'd drop a hammer on your teeth! Yeah, I think we've got a little misunderstanding. I need to talk to the girl, and you don't really have a choice here. <laughs> Is that so? I know a traveling merchant who may be willing to help you. He's in the exchange quarter and he owes me a favor or two. Tell him I sent you. It'll be a lot safer than trying to find an honest smuggler. Really? Why? Thank you. Thank you. I will never forget you. Mr. Manser, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Big on weaponry, I hope. What can I get you?
Lieutenant, I'm a little busy planning our next mission. Come back in a bit. Of course, Captain. Listen, before you left, I got a little message from your great master, as you call him. He's looking for you. How about when you find him, you tell him you don't answer to him anymore? I get that his rank makes it hard to say no to him, Lieutenant. But I'd prefer if he kept his hands off my soldiers. Of course, Captain. Lieutenant, I'm a little busy planning our next mission. Come of course, Captain. Listen, before you... I get that his rank makes it... Of course, Captain. Officer? yoo -hoo! Officer! Could I ask you a favor? Officer Zachariah Manser, a sight for sore eyes. Our hero, brave and strong. I like where this is going. <laughs> well, you know, you were just so nice, and if you wanted, if you had time, I know you're probably busy, but if you did... What? I'm just glad you came to see me. I was just thinking about you. Feel like you're maybe the only guy who could help me. Why? What's going on? I just don't have a lot of friends in Ophir. Never really had time for them, but one of the few I have, Abby Goodsman, owns a stall. She's a great girl. Lately, though, she's been scared for her life. Soldiers have been trying to extort her for serum. They tore down her stall and threatened all sorts of horrible things when she wouldn't pay. As an officer, I was hoping you could find out who these wicked men are, and figure out why they're messing with a good girl like Abby. Please, I'm really terrified for her. If you're positive they're soldiers, that's... weird. Yeah, I'll look into it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I knew you were a good guy. You're not really like everyone else, are you? What do you mean? You kept a level head in the attack. The politicians lost their shit, but you kept cool. Maybe a hard life like mine prepares you for anything. Or maybe I just had more faith in your abilities than they did. Can I ask how you ended up becoming an artist? That's a long story, officer. Not the happy kind. Don't want to depress you. I got all night. All right. Okay. You asked for it. I got left alone when I was young. Parents died, so I was forced out on the streets. One of a thousand orphans like me. Did a lot of stuff I wasn't proud of, but had to to get by, you know? Then I got lucky, and the center took me in. Gave me food and clothes and an education and hope. And a purpose once they taught me music. And confidence once they told me I was talented. So when I was old enough to leave the orphanage, I got lucky and met some other musicians who gave me a lot of help ended up performing in some bars around the slums. Not glamorous, but I got lucky, and it got me here. So, 
Maybe the story's not so sad after all. Can I ask how you ended up becoming an artist? That's a... Uh... I got all night. All right, then I... So, what... I gotta go. All right. Well, maybe I'll see you again soon. Be careful. Would hate to lose a guy like you around here.